Meanwhile, the Royal St. Lucia Police Force has welcomed government's proposed extension of the state of emergency. Commissioner of Police Severin Moshiri explained that the extension will aid the police force in executing its duties while curbing the spread of the coronavirus. The police commissioner indicated that this time around the RSLPF will be taking a serious approach to the enforcement of the protocols. We've done everything we could. We've pleaded with people. We've asked people to cooperate. We've asked for people to adhere and follow the protocol. And I think the time has come for, if you want to use the term hardcore policing and hardcore enforcement. I must say for the last um, two nights, people have been reasonably well behaved as it relates to, to the city. However, in some of the, the, the our districts, we've not been getting full of adherence. But we will continue to police it. We will continue to have boots on the ground and ensure that people do what they have to do. Police Commissioner Moshiri is urging members of the public to adhere to all protocols. He highlighted the breaches dealt with by the police. Reports. In terms of individual protocol breaches, we've had 638. And of that, we've had 22, three arrests. Eight persons were arrested and they were convicted for failing to wear masks. And the fine range from 250 to $500. 22 persons were warned for not wearing their mask properly. Some people wear their mask under the chin or under the nose. The mask must cover both your nose and your mouth. In terms of mask crowd breaches, we've had 13 breaches, which include um, football and cricket matches. If we also had hotel breaches, we've had 11. Bars with no liquor license, we've had about six people arrested and charged. And bars with expired license, we've had about two people arrested and charged. So that's a total of what we've had so far in terms of breaches since the 27th of January. Commissioner of Police Severin Moshiri.